She's here, y'all. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Texas 2.5. I am so excited to introduce you to the newest smoker in my lineup, the Lone Star Grills Mini with the full stainless steel competition cart and the off-road package. Let's get right into it. Okay, obviously the first thing we need to talk about is just the beauty of this cooker. The stainless steel, the beautiful black high temp paint, the cr I mean the chrome wheels, off-road tires. This thing is absolutely gorgeous from top to bottom, from start to finish. Let's just do a wide angle walk around this baby real quick. Everyone that has ever owned a Lone Star Grill knows that the first thing you notice when you get your first Lone Star Grill is just the beautiful fit and finish and the detailed craftsmanship that these folks in Willis, Texas are putting into every single model. This is now my second Lone Star Grill. My first LSG was, um, of course, the 20 by 42 offset. I ordered that when it was a brand new model. I ordered it the week that they came out. Um, I happened to be in the market for a smoker right then, and I decided to give it a whirl, and it was an awesome cooker. This bad boy, if you can believe it, is even more beautiful. Um, just an incredible, incredible piece of craftsmanship. Even the backside of this thing is just beautiful, gorgeous, perfectly painted. Um, just a total work of craftsmanship. Let me show you these wheels up close. These babies are phenomenal, especially for my grass environment where I'm having to keep this baby in the garage all the time. Um, so easy for me to pull out even with my uneven ground. If you've been with my channel long enough, you know I had an incident with my Lone Star offset where it ended up on its back. And it took a couple of big guys to get it righted. But um, this baby, that's not going to happen. It has this awesome off-road kit. And I was actually torquing on it a little bit yesterday, just pulling on it. And the suspension is actually pretty sweet on this baby. It definitely has a suspension and some good give on it. And it's going to be perfect for my setup here in the grassy sloped yard. Just a beautiful all-around cooker. The thing that catches your eye first on these models is just the awesome stainless steel. It's, it's so beautiful having the stainless steel handle, this stainless steel prep table, which is built right onto the comp cart. This doesn't fold down or anything. This is all permanent comp cart, just like it is. You can get the Mini without the wheels like this, um, without the comp cart, but just with a folding stainless table on the side and on big casters. And that's an awesome option too if you've got a nice permanent patio area. For me being here in the suburbs in a townhouse association, I can't keep my things outside in my yard. So I needed the big tires like this to be able to wheel it in and out of the garage easily every time I use it. The other parts, obviously the chrome door, just beautiful. Uh, the chrome slam latches, these are commercial grade, commercial quality slam latches uh, used in commercial kitchens. Commercial ovens, they're so smooth, um, just effortless how they click together like that. Obviously, we have the chrome Teltrue big old thermometer on there. Um, just, just beautiful. Everything from start to finish was well thought through. And uh, this baby is going to be awesome to use. Uh, it does come with four keys. Um, I would recommend putting them in four different places. Don't put all four of them in the same spot, but this is actually I want to mention this because the reason they put these on here, you might think this is pointless and maybe it is for your particular setup, but it's nice to have those for two reasons. Um, a lot of guys that are using these insulated vertical cabinet smokers are actually competition cooks. These are really popular on the competition circuit. Um, and so having the ability to lock them obviously is very helpful because sometimes you're pulling all nighters sleeping in the motorhome, whatever, you want to be able to lock your firebox and your uh, cook chamber. Second reason is for guys like me who are in the suburbs. And again, if I'm pulling an all-nighter, this is going to be sitting out here in a yard that I don't own. Uh, this is common area. People can walk right through by my front porch. And all I own is the structure that I live in. So having a lock for me is going to be fantastic. 
This T handle is how you pull your smoker around. It's an awesome beefy handle. Um, one thing I'm asking my viewers is for ideas. You see, I've got this hook because I don't like uh, my handle. I don't want to leave my handle laying on the ground all the time. And it doesn't stay up on its own. It doesn't lean backwards. It leans forwards, so it won't stay up. So I just have this little S hook. And if you guys have any better ideas of a permanent solution for that, give them to me. Um, I'm, I, I'm thinking, you know, even if I have to to uh, drill through here and put like some sort of permanent hook, I don't know. You guys are better at that kind of stuff than I am. So talk to me about something that won't damage my finish and that won't damage my stainless steel. Give me some ideas. If they're good enough ideas, I will forward them along to Chris at Lone Star Grills and perhaps they may decide to incorporate them in the future. Man, LSG spares no expense on these smokers. Look at this ridiculous, uh, I think this is a two inch, yeah, two inch brass ball valve. This is your air intake. And then, inch and a quarter for your water outflow whenever you uh, wanna drain your water pan. This thing has an integrated water pan, I'll show you in a minute. But uh, these are not cheap parts. I mean, you go to Home Depot and pick those up yourself. Um, those are expensive little pieces, but LSG puts the best of the best on their cookers and uh, it's high quality stuff. Just real quick here for perspective. Uh, I am about six foot or six one and that smokestack behind me is actually just a little bit taller than me. So with the off-road kit, you can see that this smoker right here comes about up to my eyes. Um, it's almost six feet tall then with the off-road kit. So without the off-road kit, it's going to be about five feet tall. So that's what, that's what you can imagine. That's what you can plan for. With that crate, if you watch uh, my unpacking video next, um, you'll see the crate was obviously taller than the smoker to protect it up high. That crate cleared my garage door by about a quarter of an inch uh, on the way in. I have a really small garage door and it just you couldn't even see space between the top of those two by fours and the door. So if you have a small garage and you're just planning to throw it straight in there when the truck comes, uh, just keep that in mind. You might wanna, you might wanna ask Chris exactly how tall that crate is. If your garage door is a little shorter than mine, you might be putting that outside for a day or two until you can uncrate it. Your stainless prep table here is about 24 and a half long by 20 and a half wide. So plenty of room there for a full-size hotel pan, plus your bottles of rubs and sauces, tools. Um, this handle here is really nice, not only for added force when you're pushing and pulling the cart. Actually, I've learned to push or pull with one hand on this, and just to use this mainly for steering when I'm on sort of the steeper parts of my yard. If you're on level ground, you can push and pull just with the handle, but this is really a nice solid rock for uh, extra steep areas like I have in my yard. And uh, it's also nice for being able to hang your utensils. All right, let's get on the inside of this baby and I'm actually gonna start in the firebox. Um, super impressive design and details. And by the way, this is different than other companies are doing it. So pay attention to this. Even other top quality, really good smoker companies, this is one feature that a lot of companies aren't including and I don't understand why. And that is the fact that when you grab the top handle, which is your firebox, it pulls out both the firebox and the ash pan together. So that when you're cooking, if you need to refuel or stoke or whatever, add wood, and you pull this baby out, it's not gonna dump hot ash and coals on your yard, on your deck, on your patio. It's gonna pull this whole unit out together and your ash pan stays underneath. Push it back in. It all stays together. Now, when you're doing cleanup, you can just pull the ash pan out easily. Beautiful setup. I don't know why every company isn't doing it this way. It makes no sense to me. But I've been watching videos lately of other IVC cookers because I'm curious what else is out there when I talk on my videos. I want to talk knowledgeably. Even the best of the best companies aren't doing it this way. And I watch a guy who's doing like a, a rep I think maybe a paid advertisement video, um, which by the way, this is not a paid advertisement video. This is, um, this is me truly being a fanboy of LSG. Um, 
I watch him pull out his ash pan and, and he's got hot ashes and coals falling while he's talking on his video. And I'm thinking, man, I would not be comfortable with that situation at all. Uh, for me, I went ahead and added the full complement of T-plates. These will allow me to set up, obviously, the snake method if I want to, or I can just use them to block off part of my firebox so I don't have to use 20 pounds of charcoal. Because one thing that's important that I've learned on the LSG videos is if you're only going to use a partial uh, run, if you're only going to do an eight hour cook or something, you still want your charcoal as deep as possible. You don't want to spread it out in a thin layer evenly across the firebox. You want to use your tea plate to block off a section so that you can still pile them right up to the top of this baby because deep is what keeps them burning low and slow. You want them as deep as possible, so these T-plates are gonna be perfect for that. You can see, obviously, I haven't seasoned this baby yet. Um, that will come in the next video, and all of this metal will get nice and burnished. Uh, by the way, that firebox is supposed to hold approximately 20 pounds of briquettes, and at that rate, uh, what you know, the numbers I hear on LSG's videos seem to be about a pound an hour if you're doing 225 degrees. So on a 20 pound bag, you can expect to get 18 plus hours and maybe upwards of 20. And that obviously just depends on your temperature, your humidity, all that, um, where you live that the day that you're cooking and how hot you're running this baby. Just as with the firebox below, the cook chamber is shrouded in commercial grade, um, stainless mesh and inside that is a stainless steel spring to keep this baby springy and cushy and brand new feeling for as many years as possible when it does wear out and lsg can send you a new gasket and you can easily clip it on it has these little clips right here see i just pulled one out they just clip right into place back into those holes and uh, you can do that uh, without any tools, equipment, glue, I mean, any it's so easy. They make these so serviceable. Speaking of serviceable, one thing I forgot to mention is the bottom of this firebox is made to be replaceable. This is just standard expanded metal. Once that burns out, years and years and years down the road, you can go buy yourself a new piece at Home Depot. You have a serviceable unit here. LSG is not trying to gouge people. They're not trying to make a hundred bucks off of people every time this, um, I say every time, like once a decade, that this thing burns out. Um, you go down to your Home Depot, expanded metal is pretty cheap. Cut yourself a piece, throw it in. You got a brand new base to your firebox. They thought of every detail. Two different drip guards in this baby. This one here um, keeps condensation and grease and steam, especially if you're using the water cooker. Uh, it keeps it from just draining down out your door and down the front of your smoker. This here forces it to go back into the water pan. Um, this line, this ledge right here lines up with the bottom of your smoke chamber and it would just run right underneath this stainless steel grate back into the water pan again. Uh, the second drip guard is actually under the chimney. So there's the chimney. I don't know if you can see or not, but this keeps rain and condensation and things from dripping back into your grill. You can see that's solid. The smoke is allowed to escape. There's, there's a cutout on all four sides. There's one, you can see the one in the front here. There's one of these on all four sides, but this catches anything that would come back through the chimney. Now this is not a second chimney. This is actually a plumbed in water refill. So if you're a water cooker, if you're a water cooker, and you fill this baby up with water, right there is your refill plumbed line, right from the top. Um, you'll know that it needs to be refilled when you start seeing little wisps of smoke coming out of here. That indicates you're at about half full of water and you need to add a gallon. So just, I mean, again, the attention to detail and the things that LSG is doing that no other company is doing, the innovation is just amazing. They're always one step ahead. All right, here's some more beautiful shiny stainless steel. Four of these cooking grates, each one is about 17, 17 and a quarter maybe wide. 
uh, by 21 inches deep. Plenty of room on each one to lay two full racks of ribs, um, a brisket, several pork butts, whatever you're cooking. The space on this baby is phenomenal. Um, you can get up to seven grates. They come standard with four of the stainless steel grates. These are not cheap, so that's actually a couple hundred bucks worth of uh, worth of stainless steel, maybe 300 bucks worth, because I believe these are each $75. Um, one recommendation for you, go ahead and pay the extra to get all seven positions welded on to begin with. It only comes standard with four, okay? I went ahead and paid 25 bucks each to have the other three added on. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots I can put these grates. Not only does that allow me all kinds of flexibility on where they go, but if I ever decide to spring for the final three um, stainless steel grates in the future at 75 bucks a pop, I can just throw those in. Every cooker comes with instructions from Lone Star Grills on how to season it and how to maintain it. You'll find the same uh, wording on their website. So if you ever lose yours, you can just go there and print screen and print off a whole nother set. Uh, I also ordered some LSG bling optional, which I'll show you in a minute. But one other thing I want to mention um, as we're shutting doors here. Oh, is the incredible heavy duty hinges on this baby. These suckers are tough. They're also serviceable. They left the tops of each of them open so you can add oil from time to time to keep your hinges in tip top shape, lifetime. Um, those are gonna be way, way more heavy duty than is even needed uh, for this smoker. And those will last you forever. You can see over here, I, I did put on our ball valves. Again, this is the air intake. Um, the nice thing about ball valves is just the level of precision you can achieve uh, with these cookers. If I want to go down to um, a quarter, a third, an eighth, whatever I need to keep myself at my ideal temps, um, and then when it's time to choke off the fire, totally done right there. That's, uh, like I said, the water spout. That's what drains your water pan if you're a water cooker. Um, so yeah, just a beautiful all-around smoker with everything thought of. Uh, this baby is going to be awesome to cook on, and I cannot wait for the first cook. Give me some ideas. Should it be a brisket? That seems fitting for a Texas smoker. Um, I've also thought maybe some big old fat beef ribs or a prime rib. Something awesome to christen this baby. Y'all send me your ideas. Before I show you my bling, one other thing I forgot to mention. These slam latches are adjustable. So you don't have to replace this gasket as soon as it starts getting squishy. You can adjust this, tighten it up, and your door will close tighter and tighter. Uh, that gives you more life out of your gasket because your door can, can be adjusted to shut tighter and tighter as this naturally compresses over time. One other thing, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. Every one of these babies, as you can see, there's a two inch thick wall here. This is actually a little thicker at the front of the chamber because it has a lip, but it goes back in to two inches wide for the entire cook chamber. And what's in those walls is two inches of military grade, 2000 degree insulation. That's another thing that sets this cooker apart from other companies, which are using 1200 degree insulation. LSG is almost doubling that. Um, this door, I did measure that yesterday. I can't remember if it was an inch and a half. Hold on, I got my measuring tape right here. Little over an inch and a half, inch and five eighths. Um, that also has your 2000 degree insulation in it. So all the way around, this cooker is insulated. These are made to be as set it and forget it as you can possibly get while using natural fuel. Um, an electric is going to be more set it and forget it, and you're going to sacrifice all the flavor. Uh, a pellet grill is going to be set it and forget it, and you're going to sacrifice some of the flavor. However, with this, this is the closest you can get to offset stick burning flavor. And I'm telling you, it is one twentieth of the effort. And that's one of the big reasons um, why I decided to switch it up 
and get myself an IVC. I've been looking at these things for years and I finally decided to bite the bullet and take the plunge. All right, here's my new bling, my pre-distressed camo Lone Star Grills hat. Go USA, go Texas, love it. And uh, let's see if I can keep my shirt pulled up. Awesome Lone Star Grills Texas logo shirt. And by the way, they're not making their shirts out of cheapo Jersey or Hanes t-shirts. This is like that super soft, comfy, like I'm wearing this for pajamas kind of a uh, high quality, nice soft t-shirt. Uh, as we close here with this beautiful new beast in the background, I just wanna say thank you so much to Chris and Amber and the whole crew at Lone Star Grills. Uh, first of all, for making it possible for me to be able to have this. Um, you guys have done so much for me over the years, even though I'm a small channel. Um, I hope that my viewers, when you do go and buy something for Lone Star Grills, please tell them where you heard about it, where you saw the reviews. That helps me out tremendously. Um, and it also lets Lone Star Grills know that people are listening to my channel and um, it helps them to know where their sales are coming from. So please keep doing that. I know tons of you have done that already. I've had at least 12, 15, 18 guys contact me over the last couple of years and say that my videos helped push them over the edge for the 20 by 42 offsets. I'm hoping the same thing will happen with the IVCs, and here's why. Like I said earlier, so many guys on the competition circuit have discovered how awesomely set it and forget it IVCs are and how awesome the flavor they produce. But a lot of backyard cooks are still not into IVCs. There's hardly any good IVC videos on YouTube if you compare it to offsets, pellet cookers, Webers, anything else out there. And I'm not just talking LSG. Any insulated vertical cabinet videos, there's very few good ones on YouTube at all yet. Um, and I'm hoping to change that because I think IVCs should be a daily part of the backyard cook's repertoire. It's so nice, especially for guys with young kids like me that cannot sit there for 12 or 15 hours. I'm not pulling an all-nighter. Um, I'm working full-time and going to grad school right now. Smoking is like my priority number 10 right now. So um, being able to have a top flavor, set it and forget it option for me, I think IVCs are the way to go. And I hope over the years as I put out videos on this baby that more guys will see that value and will head over to LSG and buy one. And you know what, even if it's not LSG, even if you find a, a company closer to you or maybe um, one of your buddies has, there's a lot of good companies out there making IVCs. I happen to think LSG is doing it the best, but uh, you do your research and you make your own decision and whatever you end up going with, come back, comment on my videos, let me know. Shoot me some pictures, direct message on my Texas 2.5 Facebook page. Keep in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. Y'all take care.